savory or sweet, Chef Maya Camille Broussard thinks almost anything is better when it's baked into a buttery crust. That explains the variety and creativity of the offerings of Justice of the Pies, her Chicago Bake Shop, and in her fantastic recipe book. And all her efforts serve another mission to expand opportunity and access for both food creators and their customers. All this sugar for two sugar. people? In the kitchen of Chef Maya Camille Broussard, yeah. we begin with the classic ending to any good meal, dessert. Moderation is key okay. when enjoying sweets. <laughs> it is banana pudding! And the making by request of my favorite childhood sweet. This is what I love about this dessert. There's so many different variations. You okay. can have custody, you can have whipped, you can have it warm, you can have it cold. cold. I think that the technique is what makes someone's banana pudding good because yeah. it's all about technique equals consistency. <laughs> there it is. And you've made banana pudding. Mm -hmm. Voila. Technique and consistency built Broussard's culinary incubator, which she started eight years ago. It now has 50 private kitchens for food entrepreneurs. I started at first as a satellite bakery. I wanted to see how could I grow my brand without a storefront because I wanted to try to decrease my overhead as much as possible. I wanted to focus on educating the consumer about how great my product is. I wanted to just go slow and steady because that was the best way to win the race. Considering her reputation, she's already won. Broussard's desserts and baked goods rank among the city's finest, but her pies take the cake. Describe <laughs> some of those, those um, flavors. The one pie that a lot of people turned their nose up on at first was my blue cheese praline pear pie. And then it became the favorite pie. I describe it as similar to a, eating a payday candy bar. Uh, the strawberry basil key lime pie is a bit of savory herbaceousness with the tartness of the limes. How did you get the word out? How did you brand yourself? I first started selling pies at farmer's markets and that is the best way to get the word out. Like the Daily Plaza farmer's market which is right in front of City Hall and where the courthouses are. So a lot of judges and attorneys would come down and they would see my name and they would say, wait a minute, I knew your father, you know. <laughs> Her father made his name as a student activist in 1968 at Northwestern University. Among other things, he helped establish the school's African-American studies program. He then became a prominent criminal defense attorney in the city, which didn't always sit well with her. So these were people that I saw come into our home, and I knew my dad represented them, and I was like, how could you represent them? Did he really do that? And he said, well, everyone deserves representation. Everyone deserves a second chance. And so with my bakery, I wanted to make a difference and make an impact. She now has her own brick and mortar bake shop. One lemon bar. Aptly situated on Chicago's South Side. We need people like me who are willing to bring their businesses to the South. In Chicago, everybody wants to be in Fulton Market in the Gold Coast because that's where tourism is, um, celebrity chefs are. And so with the visibility I have, I wanted to be an early adopter to the Avalon neighborhood. The baker feels right at home here, despite growing up in Chicago's affluent Hyde Park neighborhood. Her father was raised in a housing project on the west side where food was scarce. That complicated relationship with food has fed into programs like the I Need Love Workshop. I need love, like kneading dough. And the whole purpose of the workshop is to teach fifth through eighth graders uh, basic kitchen skills. Something Broussard says she could have used when home alone, when her dad worked late at night. And I'll tell you why this is important to me, because I think children at that age learn to be more self-sufficient in the kitchen. She's become one of the city's biggest promoters. I always tell people there's only two cities that I consider to be like food cities. Which are? New Orleans and Chicago. Chicago? Chicago. Not New York, nope. not San Francisco. Nope. And why Chicago? Well, first of all, it's extremely diverse. I don't think people realize how diverse Chicago is. Property-wise, we have so much land mass here that there's an opportunity to open up a restaurant anywhere. We're not really competing for a restaurant space. 
Broussard is a 2022 James Beard Outstanding Baker finalist. I have a lot going on, but growing up with a disability, I've learned to go above and beyond what's required. And was the featured pastry chef on the Netflix series, Bake Squad. To me, being um, a part of the deaf and hard of hearing community is normal. These are legit intense. Where she oh, exposed wow. her invisible disability. Oh, something she's lived with since she was a toddler. I mean, you set a real scene for us. Her audience and fellow cast members rallied around her. I like the healthy competition. I freaking love the ambition. When um, the show first aired, the number of messages I got from people who said, my child is four years old and just got a cochlear implant and just saw the show and now he wants to be a chef just like you. <laughs> I am choosing. Maya Camille's. Yeah. Oh, she didn't feel that way growing up. It was just so easy to make fun of me. And I tried very hard to fit in. And um, now I try very hard to stand out. And so I embrace my otherness. And I embrace my otherness through the food that I'm creating and the recipes that I'm developing. Which brings us full circle. Mm. So good, all of a taste oh, of so right. many of her delicacies all at once. So this is an unorthodox take on a classic buttermilk biscuit. Is it? Savory confections. I call it the Our Lady of Quiche. <laughs> it's the, she is a lady. <laughs> she is a lady. Intoxicating sugar highs. And then I have peanut butter cookie, but in Chicago we call it a lunchroom cookie. And then this is the oatmeal chocolate chip. My mouth is watering just watching you. Choices beyond the limits of calorie counting. <laughs> with hopes of nourishing an often kind of overlooked lemonade? community. But if I had to choose... The winner, mm -hmm. the lemonade, strawberry mm -hmm. lemonade pie. But you like fruit. Yes. <laughs> Delicious. Thank, Thank you. you.